Okay guys, welcome to the show. Today I have a very quirky and amazing Seiko. And this is something that only Seiko can make. And there's no doubt about it. This watch is so quirky, it's so ugly, that it's good. This one, it's super good. And don't get me wrong, everything that has a Seiko name on it, in my books, is excellent quality but oh boy this one is very quirky watch and uh, you gotta gotta give it to them um, I don't think there's another company out there in the world in the watch world that has the guts and quirkiness to pull it off even Jay Leno likes it uh, and uh, that's how quirky it is. Uh, Jay Leno has been spotted, has been seen wearing this watch uh, on several occasions. And this is a Seiko Sportura, and this is that's the premium line of watches. And uh, this was a very expensive watch when it was first sold. Uh, this is a two, circa 2000, and uh, this is an SQL or just as coup, uh, 007. Yeah, when a watch is 007, uh, it's gotta be something cool. And uh, you just know it. And uh, when I first saw this one, I said, damn, this is what an ugly watch. But once you put it on your wrist, uh, it kind of grows on you. Uh, it really, it really, it has, this one here has a, this is a crappy aftermarket buckle because the the original one has an issue it cannot close down so this is a, just a temporary solution uh, when you like i said when you put it on your wrist it kind of grows on you and you say to yourself oh if jay leno wears it then i gotta wear it to look cool just like him but uh, i don't think he's a cool guy but uh, it definitely adds to the story uh, it definitely adds to the story. I'm not a fan of his. I don't hate him. I just I just don't watch it that much. Maybe because um, I don't live in America. But uh, I know he's a car guy. He loves lots of cars. And that's something I can respect. And he has a massive car collection. So you can think uh, his Seiko watch collection. How massive that is. Anyways. So... Like I said, firstly, when I put this on my wrist, uh, when I firstly got this one, I said that, oh boy, that's an ugly one. But once you have it, once you wear it, uh, it kind of grows on you, like all Seikos do, and even the ugly ones, because it's Seiko, and you cannot help but to love it. Uh, that's that's what's cool about Seiko. And you might notice, uh, while I'm showing you this one here, that the second hand skips and that's because uh, the capacitor is low on power because this watch hasn't been worn for quite some time and to change the capacitor in this one you really need to be a watchmaker you cannot do it yourself because the battery or the capacitor is inside the moment deep not like a normal kinetic uh, they had to make it that quirky but i will show you the moment uh, in a second and you will see the moment it, it puts a shame this moment puts a shame at the Swiss main moments and it's a kinetic one so yeah uh, let me just show you a little here details and dials and what's we've been asking me my wrist size is 18 and a half and I don't have my measure here but you can see you can find the specs online I just wanted to show you this one and draw your attention to it because this is super cool this is a part of Seiko Sportura line uh, and this uh, they have a lots of these watches so this one is 007 they have a titanium version and they have also I think a bit till Seiko SQL 0023 or something like that so they are still in production they are constantly being upgraded and bested but i think this one is so quirky that uh it became a classic and these are very very collectible watches as well 
So if you if you are if you're gonna have a Seiko, and I think everyone should have a Seiko, at least one Seiko in its watch collection. I don't care if it's consisted of Patek Philippe or whatnot. This can have a place in your collection and super quirky watch, super conversational piece. And uh, let me just activate the chronograph. And this one here has a one tenth of a second uh, and all those features. But what's impressive, you can push this chronograph and it won't activate. You really need to firmly push it and uh, and this is for reset. Uh, this one here, the capacitor is very, uh, very low. So I've been reading online on forums uh, that you can that you can um, spin it around for for some uh, I don't know two hundred times, and uh, it will charge itself, and it's good to go for months. Uh, I don't know about that. Uh, don't quote me on that. So here. It said here chronograph, and this is uh, usually you will find these says here Sportura uh, Kinetic, and that's for uh, but the ones with the just says here chronograph, these are for the US market, as I'm told. So here you have reset button, start stop. This is our countdown, uh, 10 seconds, and just basically your normal chronograph. And uh, I'm just gonna do this and spin the moment inside but let me just show you the moment here this one has uh, cut the Geneve uh, this one here has a cut the Geneve uh, waves or Geneve waves uh, and it's just beautiful and this is this watch when you just turn it around you can see that this watch may look like a nonsense, but it's no nonsense watch. This is a, you can see this nicely decorations and you you can, you won't find a nicer kinetic watch. And uh, uh, this has, here has 38 jewels in it. And this is a moment, a 98 uh, 2A made in Japan. Uh, of course, stainless steel watch, kinetic. And if you are unfamiliar with kinetic watches, uh, you don't know. Uh, basically, this rotor here uh, powers the capacitor. Uh, for, for lack of a better term, to explain it more, uh, capacitor is like a battery or uh, that stores the power uh, you create with this rotor, and basically doesn't need battery even though the capacitors uh, need to be changed and uh, once in I don't know how many years, maybe 10 years, every 10 years or so, uh, the capacitor needs to be changed. So it's a tricky job for this specific moment because the capacitor lies inside in the middle of the moment. So if you're not a watchmaker, uh, don't do it. Don't do it yourself. Don't DOI, guys. This is not a just a regular Seiko kinetic uh, and uh, you can see how how nicely done this watch is and uh, I love Genie waves uh, and it's just beautiful uh, and uh, yeah quirky little uh, guy here we have uh, the crown this one crown is a screw down crown we have a here date Seiko kinetic and when the second hand skips two beats here like this one uh, It's just a indicator that the battery or in this case capacitor is very low. So um, mm. Yeah, thank you for watching uh, I mean DC Gunner and this was a little quick review of Seiko Sportura kinetic J10 so Thank you for watching once more. Please, guys, give me a thumbs up. Tell me what do you think. Do you maybe own this one? Uh, if you do, write down in the comment section. And if you do not, tell me would you like to own the one? And has this one intrigued you? 
and make you say, oh boy, I need to get one. Because it's so quirky, it's so crazy that it's cool. And uh, this one definitely has that second kind of cool that is wanted here on the DC Connor channel. So thank you guys for watching and see you on the next one.